Yes. But more rare. Very, very, very. Yes. One yeah. year, one boy was getting it from Tubusi sites. But it was only a small pocket emerald and finito de Then the everything gone. Uh, Ever. Let's do the topaz test. Because topaz should scratch us. Good morning, Internet. It is well, one minute to seven in the morning, and welcome back to the channel. It's still dark outside again. I am leaving early, early. Here, do you see that? <laughs> morning fog. We are now experiencing the famous morning fog. Coming over the ocean, you can only uh, find that here in winter time, which is now. I haven't had a breakfast yet, so I'll first go for breakfast. There's a coffee place here, so let's see. That was a good, healthy breakfast. And in the meantime, it's also uh, gotten light. The ride today will be 190 kilometers. So that is very doable. Where do we go? This way. Ah, oh, it's still very foggy. So the first place that I will be passing today is uh, a town called Swakopmund. Sounds very German and well, it's uh, an old German colonial town and it's a very popular destination for locals, especially in summertime when it's extremely hot in the country and people come there to kind of escape the heat. So I'm just going to pause that and then uh, I'll continue. the camera <laughs> but with this weather it just keeps on uh, fogging up can't see anything I have arrived in a uh, swak of moon the fog still hasn't disappeared yet let's have a small ride through town oh it is so cold <laughs> Proper winter in Namibia. Shall I just go in here for a little bit? Because I'm riding here on the main road, but it's a little bit boring. This looks much better. I don't see a sign that I'm not supposed to go in here, so... Rusing stone crushers. Oh yeah, I think there's a quarry there. Ah, let's have a look if I can ride a little bit to these mountains, because it is so flat here that I rather go in here let's go here because I think that road will go to the quarry mm. 
Maybe there's like a bit of a viewpoint over there. That'd be cool. Uh, it's still early morning and obviously winter time, but I have a feeling that this is one of those places that if you would be here in summertime, it would be absolutely scorching hot. I have no idea where this track goes to. Oh, there's another track here. Wow. Total desolation. It was a fun little detour. Time to uh, go back to the road and continue with my, well, with my original plan for the day. And I'm back at the main road, back on tarmac. I'm just going to ride to this small town Arandis. Because there is one more fuel station up here and then there won't be anything well for the rest of the day and also not for the next ride and um, according to my calculations I should be able to make it based on the fuel that I got in Swakopmund but if I'm going to keep on making detours then it's better to top up here as well just to be sure. <laughs> why, why are you doing that? Why, why are you pushing the car? <laughs> it stopped at the 700 something, now it's 800 and Okay, well, interesting strategy. I guess if it works, it works. <laughs> See, I'm not the only one who's trying to get as much fuel as possible. Alright. Time to hit the dirt again. But before I do, let me see if the market is open, because this is a market, it's, it's the thing, it's the place for me. So the area that I'm entering is very rich in all sorts of minerals, uh, of which some pretty cool ones. And I think here they are selling some of the minerals that are found in the area. Let's check them out. So these black ones, this is all tourmaline. It's actually, this variety is called schorl. That's the black main form of tourmaline. But then you also have silver topaz. From which, where, where did you find these? Close? Sorry? Yeah, uh, uh, it's far from here. It's also far, maybe 30. 30 kilometers. Yeah. I like the schorl, the black tourmaline. Yeah. What what are kind of the prices like? Twenty dollars. Thirty, fifty, depends on the quality. Yes, yes. Of course. There's the topper, silver topper. Oh, you also have silver toppers. Yes. Go ahead. Read my mom. 
silver topaz. You have, um, you have, do you have glass to scratch? A glass. Test it. Mm. Because topaz can scratch glass. Yes. Um. Topaz is hard. It's hard, mm. yes. Yeah. And this is topaz. Yeah. And it's, it's heavy mm. also. Mm. You can feel it, yeah. And these ones are the quartz. You can see. It's okay. topaz. That yeah. one's the quartz. Yeah. Yeah. But there's ones that sell. Yeah. All of them 50 50. Yeah. 50. Watermelon tomalin. Oh, yeah, you have the watermelon. Mm -hmm. I was already looking there for that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry? Amethyst. Yeah. Amethyst. Yeah. Aquamarine. Yeah. There's small ones. There's tomalin in the mother stone. Yeah. 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 Do you have emerald? What? Emerald? <laughs> no, 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 no. Shame. Emerald but they are also, the emerald also occur here, no? Yes. But more rare. Very, very, very. Yes. One yeah. year, one boy was getting from Tubusi sites. But it was only a small pocket emerald and finito to the most. Then everything gone. Uh, Ever. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Pocket. Small pocket. Small pocket uh, emerald. Yeah. Oh, but it was very beautiful. Yeah. Uh, Green like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over oh. small hoodie. Yeah. Oh, Also quartz. Yes, rose quartz. Like opa. Maybe you know. I don't. I have not seen this before. No. Mm, it come from the south of Namibia. Ah, okay. Not the south, the east. It is Hobabes. Kalahari. Yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. But in these mountains is mostly the no, no, black no, tourmaline, no, schoro, and and this fluorite, aquamarine. Yeah. yeah. And topaz. And top, topaz come from the speech copper. Yeah. They also yeah. topaz. Very good. Yeah. And Erongo. This one is from Erongo. Okay, this. Okay. From where? From Erongo. Erongo, ah, yeah, Erongo Mountains. Yeah. But the most of the topaz come from the speed copper. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. And then I've called. <laughs> <laughs> Pyrite, you mean? Um, pirate. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Full gold. Full gold. Yeah. Now the the guys is go to dig, and we are the. And you're selling. Just selling. Yeah. Let me show this one. Do what a job. You see that? It's fluorite. Yeah. With the black tourmaline on this side. Yeah, that's quite cool. All right, with black tourmaline. Yeah. Then? But it's a bit, I, I have to, because I'm traveling on a bike, okay. I have to take a smaller mm. a smaller piece. That one with the crystal. Yeah. It's also beautiful. That one with aquamarine is only for collection. Eh? Mm. Mm. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, madam. Thank you. All right. Yeah. The now. Topaz. Yes. Topaz. Yeah. So I'm looking for the topaz. Yeah. But how many? How much is like one piece? One piece is fifty. Fifty also. Two fifty. But I can give you two hundred. I I just need the one piece. So you have glass, so I can scratch. You can do uh, test. Let me try to go and get the glass. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Let's do the topaz test. Because topaz should scratch us. Yes. Okay. You see? Oh. Then you know. Because if flew, right? No. Okay. Not scratching. Yes, the floor. Yes. It should not scratch. Soft. Softer, yeah. Topaz is harder. Okay then. So I just bought myself three pieces. I got one piece of schorl, which is black tourmaline. Then this is silver topaz. And this is a piece of aquamarine. And aquamarine is same like emerald. It's a type of barrel. And I will, I will try to explain you more about why you can find all of these minerals close to the Spitzkopper mountain when I get closer but uh, for now I'm just really happy with my with my minerals I'm gonna uh, stow them away quickly safely Bye.
<laughs> now let's go to the actual mountain. You can already see it in the distance there. Hello. Sorry? Spitzkopper, yeah. The gate's closed. Yes. It's open? Yes, that, that one is open. <laughs> you see that uh, rest camp area. Yeah. Yes, farm. Ah, okay. Yeah, and, and, and. I have to go the other way. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's a short, short route also here, but alone for a bike is not good. Not good? Yeah, it, it, it's rivers and so. Uh, it's a small, small uh, two road. Yeah. Yeah. Small road, yeah. 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 Okay. Right, right, right. I'll, I'll take that one. I'll try that. Yeah, you can try it. Yeah. I mean, for whatever, you must be careful because if you see the two to uh, this back, ah, uh, not a four wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it sandy? Yeah, it's a little bit. Okay. Yeah, but there's also other water going on the. Uh, I mean the rivers, yeah. Yeah. The other side, it's not sandy. Okay. But okay. Far uh, about uh, here the, uh, this track. Yes. Yeah. yeah here, I'll I'll give it a go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Change of plans. Let's see if this track is doable. What an awesome road! This is the best! It's getting really quite hot now, <laughs> but I just wanted to stop here uh, to show you basically the mountains that are kind of the, the star of this place, why I came here. And that is that mountain, which is the big Spitzkoppe or Große Spitzkoppe and the small Spitzkoppe, the kleine Spitzkoppe. And both these mountains are granite and they were both formed in the same way as granitic magma intrusions. So basically that means that magma was coming up but it didn't make it all the way to the surface. And what happens actually is that what we see here now is the result of millions of years of erosion that eroded away the mountain that was around it so basically what all that is left is that intrusion because the granite is much harder and more resistant against weathering so what you have to imagine is that at some point in time there was like one meter of spitzkopper sticking out of the ground and over time more and more and more of this 
Inselberg uh, got exposed. So that's what they call Inselberg formation. That's how these type of mountains are formed. But they did some research on the co exact composition um, of the granite. And that shows is that it's it were two different events. So the big Spitzkopper and the small Spitzkopper, they're not connected like underneath here. So there were two events, two intrusions. So what happens is that in the late cooling phase of granite, the more abundant elements such as sodium, potassium, aluminium, they are already solidified into minerals like feldspars and mica. So what happens then is the formation of pegmatites and they contain a lot more rare elements like boron, and uh, beryllium for example and those are the minerals that you find so for example when boron together with a few other elements solidifies in a mineral it turns into tourmaline and two other minerals that are common to form in such conditions are beryl and topaz and both of them i bought a piece uh, because the aquamarine that i bought that's a type of barrel so barrel itself it doesn't have a color if it's pure so the colors are caused by impurities and then you can get emerald or aquamarine I'm just really chuffed with the rocks that i got today <laughs> oh, i need to find a good place where i can uh, keep them safe uh, for the rest of the trip but um, i'm pretty stoked with it Anyway, I am almost at the place that I, I want to stay. It's literally, I think, a few kilometers from here. Okay, Savannah, let's get out of this sun. And you wouldn't think it, but I'm actually riding at about a thousand meters elevation, I think. Let me see. Yeah, 1,009 meters elevation and the big Spitzkopper, the top over there, sits at 1,700. So that means that you see 700 meters of granite just sticking out of the ground there. Incredible, right? Oh, that's um, very, very deep sand. This is probably the spot that the guy talked about. I think I'm just going to ride over the road which is almost gone because <laughs> it's deep 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 this is better oof so a little bit deep now. Come on, Savannah. Woo. I am here. There's some accommodation here. I don't have a fancy thing like that. I went for the budget option, which is, oh. That little green tent over there, if I can make it. Put Savannah on the tree. Ta ta! Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. It almost looks like a massage table for some reason. But uh, that's the bed. Alright, and I can just sit here, have a sink. I am settled in my tent. Yeah, I just wanted to show you the route of today, uh, what happened. So here we have Namibia and this morning I started here at the coast from Walvis Bay. Then I drove from Walvis Bay, I rode to Swakopmund and then I followed this road and yeah, I, I'm now somewhere here. So yeah, I actually, I really enjoyed the ride today. It was, it was cool. It was really some un unexpected roads and um, it was a gorgeous day. Got myself some awesome minerals. So yeah, um, my day is just big win, big win. So I hope you liked the video as well. If you did, please give a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.